Well, today's Meet the Employer event is with Sue Fitch with Speedway, and we are speaking with her today to give us a little background on Speedway um, Incorporated, as well as, you know, some of the positions that are available within Speedway at this time. So, Sue, can you tell us a little bit about Speedway? Well, Speedway is a Midwest-based company. Um, their base home base is out of Ohio, in Enon, Ohio. Um, they came out approximately 2014, and they purchased all the Hess stations. So they more than doubled the area by going down the middle of the United States all the way to the East Coast, top to bottom. Um, in the middle of that, they've purchased Express Marts. They've also purchased another company called Endeavor, which took them to California and up into Alaska. So currently they're in 23 states, um, which is quite exciting for us. Absolutely. So um, the position that you'll be talking about, um, will they be in Shemong, Skylar, Suban counties, local? And, you know, if somebody were to relocate, how would they be able to um, get in touch with Speedway? They can call me direct um, in any place that they go to and we can hook them with the right. I'm not quite sure what the um, Steuben County is. I don't know really where that is, um, but it's there's recruiters in all the areas. OK, so I go from Painted Post to Ithaca down into Binghamton, anything west or north of that is going to be a different recruiter. But again, they can call me anytime and I can definitely hook them up with the right person. Wonderful. So my telephone number is 607-376-1934, or they can just apply at speedway.com. Okay. Does Speedway um, only accept online applications or do you actually have in-store applications as well? Yes, only online applications. Okay. What positions do you have available for us right now? I have entry level CSR positions. I have our next step up, which is um, a lead CSR position open. I also have two assistant manager programs open, one AM40 and one um, assistant manager. Awesome. So we're currently looking for all four positions. Can you give me a little bit about what the typical day would look like for a CSR, what their typical duties would be? Sure, they do anything that makes the customer happy. So they make sure that the store is clean and neat. Um, we do a lot of extra sanitizing for COVID. There's you know regulations with all of that um, that we are currently doing. In addition to they cook food, um, some of the stores make coffee, some of them make donuts. It, it depends. Each store is a little bit different. Um, but pretty much our sole job as a CSR is to make that customer experience a pleasant one. Got you. So basically it's the cashiering, it's the stocking, it's the kind of the janitorial and some food prep and food service. Yep. Okay, what was your yeah. uh, perfect? What would your assistant manager program look like? Well, the lead CSR would be the next oh, program, yep. and okay. that person does everything that the regular CSR does. They start to do paperwork. Um, their duties would include some quick counts. Um, a lot of our orders are generated through the computer by sales. So if you sell one, the computer knows to buy one. Um, and they do quick counts to make sure everything is accurate. Um, in addition to some daily paperwork that they're also responsible and they start to help the CSRs as far as getting that management background in, in their background. Then they go to um, the assistant manager program is an eight week long training program that they actually spend with a training manager um, and do everything that has to be done in a store from all of the cleaning to stocking to they handle any customer complaints. They um, 
do the food, they handle the vendors, they do the orders, everything that there is to do to run a station like this. Got you. Yeah. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, Janice, do you have any questions for Sue? I know it's hard to hear you a little bit. There you go. No. No? No. Okay. Dee, I think you had some yeah, questions. I do. Um, one of the questions my client wanted me to ask is, what is the youngest age that you hire at? 18. Okay. And what is the pay range? They have to be able to sell alcohol and tobacco. Okay. I'm sorry, what? And what does the pay range start at? What is the starting pay? 1180. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense at that entry thought, level. Oh, sorry. Mm, I did you're have fine. a question. I thought you were saying you couldn't hear me anymore. My question was, um, how long would I have to be in Speedway or longer for me to transfer if I needed to transfer to another Speedway? Oh, we don't have a length of time. You mean like if you started to work in Elmira and you decided to move to Buffalo? Yeah, we don't have a length of time. As long as Buffalo or wherever you're going has an opening, okay. they, they definitely do the transfer. Okay. Oh, that is really good to hear. That is wonderful uh -huh. because, I mean, with tech, you know, with the way things go, you know, different um, communities and economics are really struggling. So I, there is a lot of individuals that are relocating. So that is definitely you know, something we do that a lot of, we do a lot with school kids, like college kids. Mm -hmm. So like, especially now because of COVID and the, the changes that they've made into a lot of the schedules, they take people in. Um, so like they're going to school, they went in August and they're in school till um, just about Thanksgiving, just before then, then they're staying home until February or March, depending on the school. Um, so they're home for a good three or four months and we don't want to lose them. In addition to one of the benefits that we have is um, college reimbursement program. So they definitely benefit from being able to transfer like that. And then they go home for Thanksgiving, they can transfer to a store near them. And then when they come back in the spring, then they can come back here. And we also do an intern program. So if there's somebody that is ready for that program, they can also go there too. That's wonderful. You actually brought up about benefits. Could you elaborate more as far as what Speedway, Speedway does offer? Because I really like the fact that college and educational, you know, reimbursement and whatnot, because that is absolutely um, needed for people to move up in site management. It is, but um, there are benefits um, each place. The CSR, there's a benefit package for them, as well as there are, you know, as you move up into the company, um, there are different bonus programs, there's insurance packages, there's two of those. There's also dental and health and vision that they can opt to get um, along with, uh, you know, disability and just different things that they have. They have an excellent 401k plan that's available to everybody. Um, so that's kind of exciting as well for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is there a time like a probation period before any of this can um, take effect? Um, no, they they do get the pro the paperwork out like day one. Um, so pretty much the person can be covered right right off the bat. OK, that's wonderful. Uh -huh. Do you have a question, Janice? No, I do not. Oh, OK. I thought Look like you might have. D, did you have any more questions for Sue? You actually asked most of them that I had written down, and Susan was amazing in answering them. Um, I do have a client that's interested in applying, and she wasn't sure if she could go into the store or if they were all independently owned. She does live in Elmira. Um, so, okay. I'll let her so no, they're not independently owned. I can start there. We're all a corporation. Um, she can go into a store if she doesn't have access to a computer and she can talk to the manager and the manager can help her through that. Um, if it's just a, 
question of she needs help getting through the application, she can call me and I can help her over the phone. Um, we can do all of that. I'm not great with the computer, but again, if we do have the Teams app, so we can talk to each other like this and if they have a problem with the application as well. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think that's great because we we work with a lot of individuals same way to where we can share our screens to be able to really help that job seeker connect with you, you know, as the employer. So, anybody else have any questions for Sue? No. No. You know, and. I've actually experienced where Speedway came in with, you know, all the Hesses initially and then went through the Express Marts. So it's really neat to be able to watch, see how this expand, you know, because I was from the state of Ohio and they're everywhere. So when they started coming over here to New York State, I'm like, I know you're a great company to work for. So it's like, I'm very excited that we're able to partner up and get you with a lot of the fantastic people that are in our communities that support you as a business and vice versa. Well, the one thing that I really like is that you can move up. Like a lot of companies, and I worked for Hess for many years, and there was always that option to move up, but there really wasn't anywhere to go because when somebody got in a position, they never left. Um, right. Here, I even started out in a store, and I've been through, um, I worked in the store as a manager. I ran one of their busy locations and they moved me into the marketing department. I helped remodel all those half stations right. into Speedway stations. So that was a lot of fun. And when that job ended, then they were like, well, hey, we have a spot in recruiting for you. What do you think? So I came to recruiting and I love it. Right. You know, and I think that's amazing for people to to hear that success story, you know, because, you know, sometimes you think, oh, it's just a cashier job and don't, you know, no disrespect, but you understand where I'm coming from. And it's like they need to understand that this is a career path, you know, um, it is. Yet, you know, and if they're in school going to college for a certain program, this very well may be a good foot in the door to be able to pursue and add to um, maybe an internship on top of an employment for those, uh, you know, for the educational piece to move forward. Well, a lot of the college kids don't realize, I had an intern, I think she was two years ago now, that was very into teaching. And you don't like think of Speedway as a place that you could use a teaching degree, but we actually have our own training department right. that actually train people on the different aspects of the jobs. So that's kind of fun that she got to see a whole brand new way of thinking about, wow, I could really do something out of the box with this teaching degree. So that's that's another thing that I like people to kind of talk to me about because they don't realize it's just not store stuff. It's a lot of extra support jobs that they don't necessarily see. Correct. Exactly. The behind the scenes, you know, and you just explain a perfect way to utilize those transferable skills, you know, because you're right. You know, people uh -huh. do tend to think in a box, you know, and that's what it is. But there are so many occupations out there, you know, like this with an employment training. You and I kind of are familiar in that background. You know, but it could transfer to other departments within your organization as well. Uh -huh. yeah. That is absolutely wonderful. Um, D. Janice, no more questions after what we just talked about, no, or no, we... I have no other questions. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, Sue, thank you so much for coming today. Um, if you'll hold on a minute when we stop recording, I'll to chat with you for a moment. But I, we appreciate okay. you and Speedway coming to meet the employer, and we look forward to having you again. Well, thank you for having me, and I'm sorry for the computer glitch, but That's quite all I right. think everybody's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and well, yeah, broadband seems to be an issue, you know, with the going virtual. But thanks again. We really yep. appreciate you being here today. Thank you. And it was nice to meet you, Janice. You too, Devira. Nice to meet you too.